Hey everybody, Day Early here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain the Fleur. We are on Gizlan's path and we just visited him and he played the piano for us and it was a lovely moment. And apparently Gizlan really wants some orders from us because he's rather aimless in life at the moment. He doesn't like just being here and existing just to be a conduit. It's not enough. And let's see, Suma Betty <laughs> just called Violet and Gizlan both blockheads. <laughs> so that's where we left off. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Well, you and Princess are kind of alike in that respect, so I guess you guys match. I love Suma Penny. He is so hilarious. Ugh. What exactly do you mean by that? That's fine. I'll go take a long ride then. Oh, seems I made him upset. But he shows his emotions to me nowadays. If things keep going like this, I may not need to worry so much. But he looked more worried even though he said that. And what's he so worried about in the first place? This is troubling. Because I know something's gone up with Gizlan, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something hereditary with the Eastern Knights. Princess, you look better today. NJ should be coming soon, so let us have tea. Yay! Yay! Madam NJ has arrived. Ah, what good timing. How do you do, princess? <laughs> you look somewhat excited. Yes, I have been waiting for you to begin our tea party with these children. They have gone to pick some flowers for decorating the table. Meanwhile, NJ and I are having a peaceful moment preparing tea. Even though your face looks fine, I wonder if you are not tired. What makes you think that? I'm fine. I feel really terrible that I made everyone worry. That's just proof that everyone loves you so much. Thank you, but... Oh? Seems we have a guest. I had no plans to see anyone today. Perhaps Hubert came to check on me. While I was thinking that... Oh, that was earlier than I expected. P Princess, please go and hide now. Uh, what? Hurry, Lavuri is stopping him. Oh, don't tell me he's trying to hold Gizlon back. How can he stop Gizlon? He's like the juggernaut. You can't stop him. Calm down, Akane. What's going on? No, no. I won't let you in here. You don't have the right to stop me. Get out of my way! That voice is... Ah! Stop! Hold on! <laughs> Pardon me, Rain. It appears you already had a visitor. Gizlon. Why did you come in here? It's very rude to visit without any notice! That's none of your business. Can't a knight visit the Rain? Ugh. Oh, they're so scared. The children are terrified by him and quickly hide behind my back. I wonder if it is good manners as a man to scare little children. I don't care. They are the ones to blame for being bothersome. Well, Gizlan, what brought you here? Do you need anything? That's my line. Huh? My thin voice naturally slips out, as I didn't expect to hear such an answer. Is there anything I can do? Uh, Gizlan, I'm sorry, but I don't really understand. How can you not understand that he's asking for orders? That's what he asked for before. I'm asking you to give me an order. Order? He's ordering you to give him an order again. I don't really know, but I'm about to have a cup of tea. Why don't you join? <laughs> I order you to have a tea party with me, Gizlan. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Huh? How can that be an order? There must be something else. Even if you say so. No, first of all, why does he suddenly want an order from me? It's not sudden, he wanted it the last time too. Look at him, he's going crazy. He's got nothing to do. He's bored to death. Ah, uh, perhaps... 
What do you want from me? What does it mean to be your knight? Tell me, what can I do to help you more? He wants to help me. I wonder if he came here for just that reason. I don't know why, but I feel so happy. Hey, what are you doing? Just give me an order. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have nothing to ask of you at the moment. Well, if he doesn't want to have a tea party, tell him to go weed the garden or something. You must have something, even if it's something small. Just ask me. Well, we already told you to have a tea party with us, but you said no. I really don't have anything. I was just trying to kill some time. So, let us have tea together. <laughs> That's enough. I'm leaving. Uh. After Gislan screamed that he was giving up on me, he then stomps off to the door. Listen, think of a reasonable order by the next time I visit. <laughs> There's him ordering me again. He said so and left. <laughs> All three of us speechless. All we could do was stare at his back as he left. Yeah, that would seem pretty strange. Is he going to come again? He will. <laughs> Gizlan is really a kind person. Is that... kind? Even if I try to look at it in the most positive way possible, he carried his kindness to an excess. But that is the good side of him. <sighs> they tilt their heads, having a hard time understanding what I said, and went back to the garden. Well, you were strangely silent that whole time, Madam NJ. NJ. The Eastern Knights have always been like this. I guess it's their nationality. You mean... I have been here for a pretty long time now. This is my fourth time seeing the Knights, actually. The Knight from Chrysanthem is always proud and kind, but not good at expressing his mind. Really? I want to know more about his country. If Gizlan could tell me about it, that would be the best. But whenever I ask him about it, he makes it so complicated. Well, I understand that is how Gizlan is. <laughs> I'm sorry, you have nothing to do with all this. That's fine. I see that Princess is really trusting in him. May this relationship grow into a blessing. I pray that for you. Thank you. Gizlan's kindness is not really well expressed as NJ said. But... Maybe someone would not even take that as kindness. Still, if I say this, he may get upset with me, but I feel somewhat glad that I at least could understand his kindness that others would not. I look fondly at the eastern sky through the window. Now here we choose Gizlan's story again. Chapter 2 Gizlan to the truth beneath the armor. Yes, show me what's beneath that armor. I want to see... I want to see Gizlan. He would scold me gently, saying what a fool I am. What are you talking about gently? He just yells at you. Then remove my anxiety. It sounds like she's a bit of a masochist here in this route. While I was thinking that in my mind, I slightly shake my head. But no, he acknowledges me as a rain and gives me all his loyalty as a knight. What if he is disappointed in me after seeing my weakness? Well, he already said he would support you in your weakness. In fact, I think he was looking forward to it. He was saying he always thought women were things to be protected, so I think he actually wants to protect her. He will despise me, as I am not worthy to be rain. I will be... I look up at the sky, and slowly breathe out. My mind is weakening, I can only imagine negative things. Let me return to my mansion. I'm home. Ah! Oh, oh, welcome, Princess! Uh, I'm relieved that it's Princess. I thought he came back here again. Oh, come on, did he really traumatize you two that much? Why? Shh! Did anything happen while I was gone? N no, nothing. Nothing! It's not about Gizlan! That's not convincing. 
You two are terrible liars. Sometimes I'm worried about them being too innocent. Akane, Ruri, you are both good children, so please tell me what happened. What about Gizlan? Well... Actually, well... Gizlan was here a little while ago. He came to ask Princess for an order again. <laughs> but when he noticed that Princess wasn't here, he got mad and left. I see. I would have returned earlier if I knew things were going to be like this. But... Listen, think of a reasonable order by the next time I visit. He came all the way here, but I couldn't give him anything. But this could be a reason for me to visit him. Hmm. I really want to see Gizlan. I have a reason to visit him. He wouldn't push me away. I call Marionette after making up some excuses. What can I help you with, Princess? Can you please notify Gizlan of my visitation in advance? Certainly. Rudy and Akane puff out their cheeks after Marionette politely bows and leaves. Ooh, if anything happens, call Uncle Suma Benny for help. Yes, also bring self-defense items with you. Then... What, like a taser? You shouldn't worry so much. Just go prepare the carriage for me instead. Leave it to me! I'll go prepare it right now! When I prepare myself to step outside, the twins run toward me. Princess! Something terrible happened! Marionette just returned and... And what? I want to know, but that's the last line! I don't have anything else! Cliffhanger! Well, anyway, let's see what in the world happened in the next episode. Arr, I hate waiting for stuff like this. Well, I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.